Okay, class, welcome back. This is going to be the, the second stage of our portrait uh, learning process. We're going to go ahead, we're going to take those facial features we learned from that first video, and we're going to start applying them then proportionally correct onto a human face. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get the shape of the head down. Now to do that, typically it's going to be an egg shape, an upside down egg shape. You're going to go ahead, anywhere on your paper, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the top of the head. Now, sometimes it's a little bit easier to kind of just sketch out a circular shape, okay? And then to go in and drop down, and I usually say it's almost about half the distance of the circle. The radius of the circle, you drop that down. That's where the bottom of the chin is going to go. Okay, And then what I do is I slowly arc a line up so that it comes flush with the edge of the circle, just like that. Now, if you get it and yours is a little crooked like mine, you can easily go in here and move some of these lines over just a little bit. Okay, Notice too how I'm just kind of slowly adding in some, some almost like sketch lines. It's not one continuous line, but I'm constantly readjusting my pencil so that I can kind of get that shape down, okay? And that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and erase the lines I don't need. And this can always be adjusted later on too. If you look at this and you say, you know, it looks a little bit too big here, I need more chin, you can always add more, you can take more of that, that head shape away, that's perfectly fine. Now, once we have this, then we wanna go ahead and we wanna find where the eyes are gonna go. So, from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin, about halfway is where you find the eye line. So I'm going to lightly put in a line about halfway right there. Now, once we have that, then we want to also find the middle of the face. So from side to side, from, from I guess you call it the ear to ear, we want to find that midway point, which is right about there. That's going to kind of help gauge where we're going to position our eyes. Now, this is the more difficult part is going, to hit, going in here and finding exactly where those eyes are going to fit. So I usually say there's typically about an eye's length in between your two eyes. So if I go ahead and I put in kind of this length here, and I'm just kind of eyeballing it, no pun intended. I know, terrible joke. I'm gonna go ahead, move this over to the left, the same distance, move over here to the left, move it to the right, and if I did it correctly, I should have roughly about a half eye's length on either side here to the edge of the head. And that's pretty good. Now right now, it gets confusing. You have a lot of dots on here, but if you can picture this, I can go, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this middle one here so it's a little bit easier to see, all right? Your one eye will fit in this little space here, and the other eye will fit over here. I'm just going to kind of roughly kind of put these in, all right? All right, and that's where they're going to go. So I can go ahead then once again get my tear duct, put in my lower lid, go over here on this other side. It's always harder to do this other eye because I'm so used to drawing the, the eye on the left side. All right, and then once you get this, you can go ahead and add your iris, your pupil. Don't forget to kind of add a little bit of value to your iris as well. Kids always leave it kind of white. It looks like you kind of scary white eyes. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of do this, okay? Then once I have this done, all right, you can go ahead, you can add a little bit of eyelashes. Now, eyelashes typically are going to be a little bit subtle from farther away. You're not going to notice them as much, so don't make them very thick. Don't make them very long. All right, so I've got those eyes in here. All right, looks good so far. I think I'm going to readjust my camera so it's a little bit closer for us. Okay, that's better. Now we can see this a little bit nicer. Now, once we have this, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find the halfway mark in between the eyes and the bottom of the chin. This is where my nose is going to go. Now, to do the nose, okay, I usually tell kids it kind of varies from person to person, obviously, but it kind of fits in between this little space right here. If I drop lines down from the tear ducts, got that halfway mark, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put in kind of that upside down mustache shape that I had before that we talked about yesterday on the previous video. And I'm just going to go ahead, draw that in, put in my nostrils, okay, bring it up on the side, okay, and then I can also go ahead and kind of add in some lines here. Now, if you've got a more dainty nose, you're not going to make it as big, okay. In fact, I'm looking at mine going, ah, it might be a little too big, so I'm going to go ahead and make this shape a little bit smaller. We're going to go ahead and kind of bring this in just a little bit more. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do this, and do that right there. There we go. See, it's... It, Easy to readjust these, you guys. If something doesn't look right, just go ahead and kind of change that. All right, so there we go. So we've got that. That looks pretty good. I can go ahead and kind of erase some of my guidelines that I have on the sides here. Boom. All right, I'm going to go ahead and kind of lighten these up a little bit more, too. I don't need these lines to start. All right, so that looks pretty good there. Now, once we have this, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in the mouth line. 
Okay, now the mouth line is going to go, I would say, a little bit higher than halfway. If you're going to go ahead and split this up into thirds, it'll be that upper third. And once again, you drop your tear duct lines down, okay, that mouth will stretch out typically to those tear duct lines. All right, we're going to go ahead, we're going to once again start with those three shapes. I love this technique. All right, the three shapes for the mouth, and then I can go ahead and I can start filling it in. All right, just take a line, drape it right over the top. All right, put a line right in the middle here, drop it down in between. I'm going to go ahead and kind of add a little bit of the lower lip. All right, boom, and we're good to go. And get rid of some of my guidelines. You want to add a little shading in through here too. Remember that upper lip is going to be shaded in a little bit darker. The lower lip is going to capture a highlight, but underneath it, oh yeah, we're going to go ahead and add a little shadow there. All right. So we've got our facial features in so far. Now the next three steps is going to be putting in a neck, the ears, and the eyebrows. Okay, for a neck, start your neck roughly about where that mouth line comes across. Okay, bring it in. You can kind of slope it in just a little bit, but when you get down to the chin, you want to really taper it off to the edge of the paper. All right, taper it off to the edge of the paper. Don't bring this down and have it, it come down at a sharp angle like this. Otherwise, you give yourself no shoulder. It's just going to look very unnatural. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And sometimes I go ahead and I put in some lines right through here. This kind of represents the tendons that are in your neck. All right, you don't have to put those in, but that's just kind of a nice thing to kind of have. Okay, so we've got that. Now, the next thing I want to do is go to add ears. Ears are kind of interesting. They're typically, they ride up a little bit higher than your eye, probably about where your eyebrow is going to be, and they'll be a little bit higher than the nose line. So if you kind of fit them in between there, you should be pretty good. Now, to draw an ear, be careful. I've a lot of different techniques for this. One technique was if you make an upside down skinny S, connect this up here, add a line right here, add a little more cartilage there, get rid of that lower loop in that S. And some people say that's kind of a nice ear shape. Yeah, it's up to you. I mean, if you can, if you want to try that, you can. I'll just kind of show you how we're going to do that here. Bring it right about right there. I'm going to bring that ear up actually a little bit higher, I think. All right, put this right through there. All right, not too bad. Just make sure you don't have it come out too far. All right, and you're going to be having it here. Look at that. That doesn't look too bad. Now, the hardest part is getting them to look the same. All right, I'm going to kind of do this here. I'm just going to kind of sketch this one in without doing the S technique. Boom. All right, so we've got that. Okay, now, once we have this done, okay, eyebrows. Eyebrows are going to extend above the eyes. I sometimes just put in some guidelines to begin with. And when you think about the eyebrows, a couple things to kind of think about is this. They're not each individual strand of hair. What they do is they overlap and they essentially extend out from the middle of the face. Okay? So they are. It's, it's, it's almost like you're creating a little bit of a hair fur texture. They extend out. Don't make them terribly dark. Okay? Unless you have really dark, bushy eyebrows. But typically eyebrows are a little bit more lighter. All right, I'm just going to kind of throw those in. All right, so right now we've got the lips, nose, eyes, eyebrows, and ears. We are missing hair. I'm going to show you hair really quickly, a very simple technique. And one thing to keep in mind about hair is the less you have, the better it is. Don't think you have to draw each individual strand of hair. We're going to go from the top of the head, probably about a third the way down. That's where your hairline is going to do. Don't start your hair way at the top of your, your head here, otherwise you're going to have a big forehead. You're going to start about right here, and I typically go in here, and you want to draw out basically an outline of where that hair is going to go. Okay, Where's that hair going to go? All right, I'm going to kind of break it here. I'm going to kind of part it maybe right in the middle here. All right, I'm going to bring it kind of down to the side of the head. All right, Maybe kind of poof it out a little bit more than the, the, the top of the head here. you got the scalp right here. We can go ahead and get rid of that line because your hair is. Your hair is going to extend out quite a ways from the scalp, typically. All right, so we got this right through here. Okay, looks good. All right, so we've got kind of the general outline where the hair is. Now, when you do this, like I said, less is more when you start doing some of the hair. And when I put this in, I want to go ahead, and where it comes out of the part, that's where I'm going to go ahead and have lines that just kind of extend out. Look at this, just a few lines. And they're different different lengths. Also, two of these lines have a little bit of a curve to them. All right, they're not completely straight. Okay, they got a little bit of a curve. All right, we're gonna kind of come down through here. All right, kind of add a little bit in through there as well. Maybe kind of add a little bit kind of at the ends here. All right, notice that I'm leaving kind of the highlight in between, but where they get kind of bunched together, or where, where possibly would have a shadow, that's where I want to put in more lines. 
and just kind of give it a little bit more form and definition. You can always go back in and kind of add a little bit of value to it, maybe kind of use a tortillion or your finger to kind of blend it in. That's perfectly fine as well, depending on, on the color of your hair and how much highlight you do see. I'm gonna add a little few more lines right through it. There we go, that looks pretty good. But otherwise, that's not too bad. And of course, you wanna do the same thing on the other side, okay? Where it kind of maybe gets pulled behind the ear, gonna add a few lines, make them different thicknesses, give it a little bit of a bend. All right, on the top here as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and kind of add a few more lines back and through here. And once again, I'm just gonna kind of finish up on the bottom. It's so one thing to keep in mind too is this. If you have longer hair, don't be afraid to extend your hair down beyond your paper. All right, sometimes girls like to cut it off a little bit closer. I should say, I shouldn't just say girls, guys, you have long hair too. But people like to cut that hair off a little bit too, too close here and then it, it looks a little funny. It looks like you just took some scissors and chopped it right off when really your hair should extend off the paper. So don't be afraid if you have to. If you have a bigger portrait, it will go off the paper as well. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, this looks like a halfway decent porch. I think we're going to go ahead and keep this one. Um, good luck. And we can't wait to see what you create.